Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can add the multiple lines on your line chart as you can see within Power BI. Alright, so as a beginner many times we face a scenario where our users or let's say you are doing experiment and you want to add multiple lines and you want sometimes you are confused uh, since you don't know much about the line chart where you have multiple ways as you can see. Over here, we are showing the sales or profit in two different lines and then, you know, even by the dimension we can show like uh, the three different value, which is not a measure, but still we can break it, right? So how we can create it, uh, this type of a behavior based on whatever our needs is. We want to break one line, like in this case sales, we want to break this line or we want to have two different lines by sales or profit, two different measure altogether, right? So how we can do? this so both of this is helpful in doing the comparative analysis where you can compare between the sales and profit and here you can compare among furniture office supplies and technology so how you can do that i will show you before that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know that all of my power bi videos like this i am recording uh, this is all present in my google sheet which is present here so here like these three people you can come over here and utilize all of my video and right now on my 250 i think 249th video or somewhere around that because at the top if i show you this is where my title is also whenever you are good with the basics by following my video if you need advanced and professional looking dashboard training you can come and join my sessions okay so this is where i create multiple lines and line chart based on a measure or dimension this is a video i am showing you and link of this uh, Google Sheet is present in description along with data set link and couple of others, you know, just so that you find it useful. Okay, coming back to the main topic without spending much on much of the time over there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll delete this and show you from the scratch how you can do that. Okay, so what do I have is the visualization and the data and in the visualization, I go to the line chart and expand this line chart. And in this line chart, what I need is the date column. So over here, I have the date hierarchy, as you can see, which is nothing but all of these different values based on on which particular date order was placed. And I just keep, let's say, year and month. Okay. And then what do I need is, uh, let's say I want to have the two different measures. So what I do is on the Y axis, I bring the sales, right? And I bring the profit over here and just put it down below. So generally, you know, when you are not a expert on this Power BI, you feel like, you know, where you will go, you have already put the sales, then what would you do? Now, now you see that even in this scenario, what you are viewing is the 2017, 18, 19, 20, but what I have is the year and month. The reason for this is this is not fully expanded. So what you can do is click over here and this will be all fully expanded, showing you the monthly trend. Okay. So this is a scenario number one. So that's one. Now I'll copy and paste. As I copy and paste, you can see I have created a second chart very quickly. I remove the profit from here. Now I need the information by category, the product category. So product category is present over here, which I can then bring it on the legend. Now this time I'm using the legend, right? So that is how I can simply go ahead and utilize this information. Now. When I started, I showed you only two, two ways. I will show you a third way as well, since you are here up until so far. So what I'll do is I'll create, I'll bring this up. I will bring this up. Okay. And uh, what I'll do is I'll copy this and paste it and I'll bring this down below and I'll just bring it here and I'll probably a little bit expand this as well and expand this as well. Okay. So what I want to show you is very quickly, for example, we have sum of sales and the sum of profit is so, so much, you know, below because sales are always higher and profit is a part of the sales, right? So what you can do is you can bring a profit over here on the secondary axis. So if you see the, when it comes to the secondary axis, what happens if I go into the focus mode, that means I will expand this chart. So what happens is it is coming to the same dimension value for a better comparison but how the reason for this is this is the primary axis as you can see y-axis this is where the sum of sales is present which you can see starting with 20 starting with 0 20,000 40,000 60,000 but in this case of profit you have starting with 0 
5,000, 10,000, 15,000 and 20,000. So for sales 20,000 is here, profit 20,000 is here. That's why the values are matching up with the sales line value, right? So profit line value is matching up with the sales line value. You know, it enables a better comparison what I feel uh, as compared to this particular one, this chart where you can see, you can find the trend, but not very, very highly comparative. In this case, it clearly shows that over here, your sales is high, but your profit is gone below. And you know, something, you know, you would really, or, you know, profit is high, sorry, profit is high, which is a dark blue line and sales is below. What's going on, right? So, or what's going on here, something to ponder about. So that is something, a better trend comparison uh, that you can find over here. So I've shown you three different ways, right? What I started with two, but giving you the three different ways. Okay, so we can be as creative as much possible. Let me show you the fourth way. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me show you the fourth way. I'll press control C. I'll create a new tab and I press control V. And in the control V, what I'll do is I have sum of sales and sum of profit, right? And I want to see the sum of sales and profit for each category. So one of the ways is you will say, hey, go ahead, Abhishek. And you put the legend over here. But ooh, nothing is happening, right? So crazy, right? What you can do is you can bring the category and put it here on the small multiples. Okay. So what it does is it creates these section for three different categories, office, furniture, office supplies, furniture and technology. Now you can compare this, compare this and compare this, right? Very easily you can create, as you can see, with the help of some of the features that are present. So I started with two and given you four. That's like 200% productivity I have given you today. Go ahead, utilize this and get back to me in case if you have any question. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.